Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into a repair on this HP Pavilion X360. As you can probably tell, it's got a pretty serious hinge issue. So how do I fix it? Well, stick around, I will walk you through the entire process step by step. Alright, first thing first, I'm starting by removing the bottom plastic bezel using a plastic pry tool. Just a heads up, take your time here and also be gentle so you don't snap or damage any clips. Next up I'm using a little heat to loosen the adhesive around the display. Once it's warmed up, I carefully lift the glass and a touch of isopropyl alcohol helps release it cleanly. And don't forget, before moving any further, make sure to unscrew the hinge screws. Now let's move on the display cables. I am disconnecting the webcam cable and the EDP video flex so I can safely remove the entire screen and set it aside without risking any damage. Then I clean off the old adhesive and carefully unstick the webcam flex. An antenna wire. These parts are super delicate. So no rush here, take it slow and steady.
with everything out of the way it's finally safe to remove the damaged back cover. Just look at that bend, pretty wild, right? When it comes to finding the replacement part, make sure to match the part number or barcode. You will get the exact fit and color for your laptop. Time to put things back together. I start by mounting the new back panel, screwing the hinges into place and adding double sided adhesive where needed for a secure fit. Double check if your hinges are in the right place. Now I'm reconnecting the webcam cable and properly routing the antenna wire, making sure everything's neatly in place. Next I add some adhesive tape to the back of the screen, peel it off and reconnect both the EDP video and webcam cables. To make sure the screen is solid, I add a slightly thicker layer of tape around the edges before setting it into the new back cover. Once it's in, I tighten the screws, snap the bottom bezel back into place and that's it. The laptop now looks and works way better than before and is all ready to go back to the customer. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, check out the other repair guides on the channel. 
and I will catch you in the next one. See you later.